Before we get into the meat of how we're going to show it, this is pieces and parts of how they work. Any questions? So I just want to make sure I understand this. So you can show this with no disability on it. Then you can show it if they had a disability but didn't have coverage. And then you have the ability to show them if they had disability, if they paid for disability but didn't get disabled. That's correct. And that. Wow, that's pretty cool, Todd. Very yeah, cool. and that, well... It added a little bit of complexity. And so I'm, I'm glad you brought that up so that I can explain, you know, it's like, well, why do you have this disability thing here? Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to have to go in and zero out the age. You know, as I was working through a discussion around it, it was clunky and I'm trying to simplify that. And so, yes, it added an additional checkbox to say whether they actually had a disability at some point across there, but it allows you just to quickly turn it off or turn it on. And so that's why that's there, even though it looks a little weird. So if you can kind of think through why that is. And the same thing for the disability insurance. See, I can turn off the disability income insurance as a complete block, no cost and no coverage. And now then we have that little blip, as you can see in our in our savings graph. And you said you can do two of these or three of these? You can do two for whatever time frame you want. So we have the ability, you know, we could put a, a ton of them in there, but it's just to get a point across. Get, we yeah, don't know what's going to happen. To show the, what the impact of a disruption. Right. And so here's a disruption. What if somebody had two disruptions and so think about this too. This is kind of interesting. So if you turn on the disability income insurance again, all right. So now what we see is, so we've got this, well, we paid for it with the first one, but could we potentially have two disabilities in our lifespan? We wouldn't pay another 3% for that. So what I would do like on that second line is maybe we're looking at, we have a disability from 55 to 56. So we could put that in there, turn on the disability feature, put in, we're still gonna get 60% of income, but we're not gonna have a cost for that because we've paid for it with that first line. The other thing that we have here is, you'll notice on the waiver of premium, oh, you'd wanna increase on that too, the disability income increase. Todd, on the, uh, so the maximum, the, the minimum time is one year. Correct, because, and yes, okay. there are six month pieces, but I, I you know, it, it's, this doesn't do, this calculator was not set up for monthly, yeah, so yeah. it gets it gets kind of squirrely. So let's say if it's a job loss, you know, they lose, you know, it is a six month job loss, you can cut it to 50% for a year, right? Right. Okay, got it. Yep. Yeah, that's a great way to handle that. Yeah. Uh, so Patrick's input on that's great. So let's say it was a six month loss, you could, you could put in one year's worth of disability or job loss, and then put in 50% of their pay in the in what was getting covered. Yep. And then that would basically be the same thing as half a year off. 